Focus on the Arts is made possible by a financial support grant from Indiana University East. Welcome to Focus on the Arts. This is the 21st annual Whitewater Valley Art Competition, and our guests today will be Tom Thomas and Roberta Smith. Roberta is a nationally known art critic and will be the adjudicator for this year's competition. Welcome. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Hi, we've done this before. Yeah? About 20 times. Yeah. Tell us about this competition. <laughs> exactly. 20, 21 years. This right. must be like the oldest competition in the Midwest, isn't it? It is. Good for like you. The longest, it's, a, it's the longest consistent running regional, I think, in the Midwest. You yearly. know, you kill yourself yeah. doing this every year. Think. Why do you do this? I, I mean, know. I know why. You... <laughs> <laughs> so when we get to this point, I, I, know why I, you do I ask that question every year. But it's worth it. It's worth it. It's good for the kids. Educational. Yeah. It's something to do, and it's it's a good thing to do, I think, and uh, brings a lot of people together, and uh, and uh, they get a chance to talk about art with somebody who counts in the art world, and uh, Roberta certainly is a person who counts. Do you do um, a lot of these type competitions? No. There, first of all, I don't think there's anything quite like this where I get to do what I do so out in the open. Because usually you're writing. No, usually, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about the jury, the juried <coughs> exhibition format. Usually you make the selections without any, you know, with a few people mm -hmm. around carrying things back and forth. Um, so the idea of doing it publicly is unusual. And I think that's one of the most interesting things about it. And you've always done it that way, haven't you? Yes. I mean, are I'm the actual artists looking over her shoulder as they watch yes, her they are. judge their work? Yeah. I mean, there's, they have a similar thing in a lot of schools. You may have it in your school. I'll call, it's called open crits. Mm -hmm. But that's when you have like 12 graduate students, and they walk along behind you as you go to each student's work <laughs> in the studio. But when you have, I don't know how many entries, and whoever wants to can show up, uh, it's really going to be. <laughs> I've never done it before. Well, this will be a new experience. <laughs> Plus, it's all on one day this year. Yes, Usually, it is. Like she, a lecture? Doesn't she do a lecture? Are you doing that? Well, I prefer today? to think of it as a chat. But oh, yes. okay. So, yeah. I, I, Something informal. Which <laughs> I like better. Yeah. And, and that's the, the purpose of this. Um, the reason I developed it is because um, I used to send things off, as I, all artists do, to various competitions. And, and sometimes I'd get in, sometimes I wouldn't. But the one thing that I thought was uh, a waste of, of uh, time was that you never knew why you got in or why you were eliminated. And I thought that that would be so much better, uh, especially in an educational situation like we have here, mm -hmm. to uh, actually hash it out with the, with the judge if can they you do that? To, yes, they can do that. So they can come up to you after you've judged. No, I, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> this is news to her. <laughs> my, feel, my understanding was that anybody can ask anything they at any right. point okay. in the process. Right. That's but I mean. why didn't I win? Is that a no, question? No, uh, no, they can't do that. Okay. They can't. They cannot pressure her or tell her right. that it's their work. Uh, now we've. I'm kind of, We don't have a perfect track record on that. We've had one or two people that have made a mistake. Uh, people that I didn't know usually, uh, or somebody who came in late and didn't listen to the rules, or somebody who didn't pay attention to the rules. And what are they the just, rules? Do they well, have the a qualifying? Well, the rules are just basically that you, we're trying to get as much information out of this fine lady in the shortest amount of time is basically what we're trying to do. And we're trying to set up a circumstance in which the thinking process is going on right in front of, of the uh, people who attend. And it's a great thing for them to see what, what little nuances of decision making are going on here. And that's, that's the thing that people never know. And so I want to uh, dispel the mystery to some degree by doing this. And uh, uh, in the past, and I hope that Roberta says this after it's over, in the past, 
the people have said it's a really great experience for them as well as uh, it's a great teaching experience mm -hmm. uh, or great teaching atmosphere and um, when people submit a work you know they're paying attention right you know right. they're paying real close attention to what what's going on and but I they really think don't have any idea what she is looking for what well, are I'm going to be, I'm gonna what be are talking you about that, but what, what I just wanted to say to what Tom was saying is basically a work of art is a statement. When an artist makes a work of art, they've had their say. They're done. They're done. Yeah. They're not supposed to stand around to give me a parallel explanation. Right. I should be able to see what they had to what's say. What's there. Right. Uh, it's like if I review an exhibition of a living artist, I don't expect the artist to be standing there saying, well, when I did this, I meant that, and when I did this over here, I meant this other thing. You know, basically that's it. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, what he's trying to create with this structure is what I call an uncontaminated situation, a, 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 a situation that's as uncontaminated as possible. Basically, I'm just looking. I don't want to really know who did it. If, if people want to ask questions, they should do so. Anonymously. Anonymously, right. yeah. Right. So, and what you look for in any situation like this is just a, a, a kind of authenticity something that seems real, that seems felt, that isn't dealing with a lot of received ideas and a lot of uh, influences Influence. or, or sources that the artist isn't aware of, um, that is therefore very derivative and kind of muddled. You know, I mean, people can make art in a vacuum. This is not, I'm not saying that this is a vacuum, but you can, you can make art anywhere if you have the feeling for it and the kind of honesty for it. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, I'm not looking for like rigid originality or, or invention. But it's not bad for an artist to be influenced by a certain style or oh, a no. genre or, a, or even another artist. Oh, of course, that's the only way you sure. art, art comes <clears throat> from other art. But um, in most cases, you know, there's some visual stimulation. And even, even where you have, you know, we've had great artists who have been in, I mean, in, uh, in mental hospitals. America's mm -hmm. had, I think, three really totally great, well, t yeah, about three totally great artists who were completely reclusive, but they had, there's always some kind of visual in in inspiration or mm -hmm. influence that involves art. I was just talking about when, when you're, you know, a more conscious kind of artist as opposed to an outsider artist, uh, of course you have influences, but you have to make them your own. Figure out yeah. how get some balance of they're like right. they say, well, I want to work this way. And if, you know, you, if you work in any any however you work, you're probably placing yourself in a dialogue with other mm -hmm. other people's work. But you just have to figure out how that you know there's a balance of that and you. And what I look for is for more of the balance being toward the person than the outside stuff. And does the title affect? What you see in the artwork itself? Ti yeah, if the I mean, title is it there, should match what you see. No, it shouldn't. I mean, the title is is an aid to looking. Okay. You know, the title is sort to of help the last it. thing the artist gets to right. say is to, you know, right. and and if there's, I, you know, a title can either uh, encourage a direction that I'm thinking about about it, or it can contradict it and set mm -hmm. me off in another direction. But it's you know, completely. So it doesn't matter to you whether the title seems to match what you see. Well, if the title doesn't match what I see, then that's something I would talk about, yeah. you know. The other yeah. thing is we, uh, in this show, we, we have no age limit. We, have, we allow anything to get here, any way it can get here. All right? So there's no audition process. No, no See, I'm rules thinking musically. Because, yeah, but see, we, we're interested in, you know, art can so come I could from do anywhere. This. I could art draw something and be in this right. competition. And I believe, that, I believe that it can come from any source. And so I, uh, I look at it just like Roberta says, at the end, that's, all, that's what's there. And how it got there, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care how it got there. I don't care who put it there. Mm -hmm. All right? What I care is... Is it art, yeah. or is it something that can create an opportunity for a, a great dialogue to occur between Roberta and the rest of the people that are here? And that's the kind of atmosphere I want. You know, I see these competitions have all kinds of crazy little rules. I try to get rid of as many of those rules. That's another reason why we pick the artwork up. We pick artwork up because students can't afford to haul paintings at large. Mm -hmm. They're not going to do it. Right. But so what they, but they what deserve they to do? be in the yeah. competition. So what they do, they send you their slide, which I don't like. Yeah. 
or they send some little teeny work which doesn't have anything to do with what they really want to uh -huh. do. So they have no excuse uh, to not do the best that they can do. I'm trying to eliminate the excuses. Right. I can say, go ahead, cheat, I don't care. But you're competing against every great artist that ever lived on the face of the earth. Right. All right? So what's the best thing you can do? Cheating or otherwise? I don't care what you do. <laughs> Bring it in here. Let's see yeah. what you got. Yeah. So there's no excuse for not doing great. All right? Yeah. So that's the deal, you know? And, and uh, Roberta has uh, one of these people who's seen it all. Are you an artist yourself? Oh, no. I'm an so art you don't have to be. Oh. Talented. I don't even want to say, use that word. I've had some art classes, but no. I mean, the main thing in evaluating art is looking, 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 and looking, looking at good art, looking at bad art, looking at mediocre art. And there is art. a difference. There's definitely a difference, and everybody has their own standards of differences, and that's sort of determined by how much looking they've done. Well, and since you're you're the expert and you've done that much looking, I mean, it would definitely put in the time. It would be interesting <laughs> to stand behind you from my perspective right. and, and look at what you're I looking look at. I this as sort of being like on an analyst couch. Do you know? Yeah. Basically, my responsibility is to say as much as, as I can of what's going on in my head and not to edit, not repress, not, you know, to give honest reactions. And that's another reason to go back to that earlier point why I don't particularly want to know who the artist is because I, I want it to be, comp I want to be as free as I can and that's that's a really, it, that's your basic challenge as a critic in writing, is to be, to get as close to what you're thinking, as close to what's going on in your head as you can when you write. It's very hard, because there, we all have inhibitions. You know, we don't want to hurt people, well, we sure. don't want to do this, yeah. we respect right. this artist. So this is like just a very kind of rudimentary, a very rudimentary version of the same um, activity. What you I know. liked about what you said is that there's very few rules, that there are um, certain things about this. You just want to get the art here. I mean, I like the no rule idea. Mm -hmm. And it seems as though you're not following a standard set of rules either. You don't have to. No, that's, that's always been my approach. I mean, every, every critic has, you know, you can't, everybody has some kind of structure they adhere to, whether they admit it or not. But I just try to keep mine as, as flexible as possible. Now, when you do your chat, later on. Will you specifically refer to things you've seen here or will it be an overview of the kind of things you do? I don't actually know. What I say li later will be determined <laughs> by, by how much, how generally or how specific I get here. I mean, there, if people ask me what my general approach is, I might say what I'm supposed to say during my and chat. And it can and be an it. open question yeah. answer but form. What I'd like to do is keep this really specific and then talk both about what I've seen and sort of, I feel like this morning I'm going to demonstrate looking. And this afternoon I'm going to try to talk about it in a more kind of, from a slight, slightly more distance, in a broader way. Um, but is this morning your decision making time? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And how long does it take, and how many works are in this particular well, competition? I have actually counted, but I'm guessing somewhere around 300 probably, between two and 300 somewhere. I mean, how long does it take to, to really give enough time? Well, or can you pass by stuff and say, not worth it? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. But I don't know. I've never talked this process before. So, um, I mean, I don't know how to do it. I don't know whether to go in and say, like, do what I do is, you know, we're going to have to hash out how we exactly work this, but right. how I work usually is just to go through the whole thing and, and just take, just take start taking in. out the things that <coughs> catch my eye that seem mm -hmm. worth it and just keep, you know, take out the best things and then go back again and, and sort of see if there's, you know, get to the point where nothing is really seems like, like that it qualifies. But I don't know. With I don't know how this works logistically. That's really close to what we well, I kind of people. like that idea that that she doesn't have to worry about the way it's always been done, or she doesn't have to worry about the way you want it done. Well, well, part of what this is about is learning how critics d define the way they do this. I mean, that's part of what they what people learn. And of course, there's a variation from uh, judge to judge. But Roberta's outline is is similar to the way it's been done in in most cases. And um, I think that uh, you get a feel for how it's going to go after you've 
I made a couple of passes and and the people here, a lot of the people have gone through ten or fifteen of these things. Yeah. That's so uh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Gardeners. So they're gonna be basically they're gonna be judging me as I right. do what I do. And because how do they you, have other you know other How do you examples. choose her? I mean, how is this person Well she's one of the one of the I mean I write for he the has, York, I write for the New York well, Times. Well he has been bragging <laughs> about you also since your she's, qualifications she's, are so vast. She is it. Yeah. She's the number one. Uh, and you're just lucky she said yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I am lucky yeah. she said yes. Yeah. And uh no, and uh, actually, uh, on our 20th anniversary, I wanted to have, I wanted to have her, uh, because we had John Kennedy of the New York Times to kick this off 20 years ago, and uh, Roberta couldn't do it at that time. But um, I wanted her for the 20th anniversary of this, of this, and we got her for the 21st. He's wanted you for show. several so, years. So it's not like, for. yeah, she's, <laughs> yeah. she is. If I could get, you can't always get uh, Roberta Smith, okay, but. But she's at the top of the list, uh, absolutely at the top of the list. So I'm real grateful to, to her for, for coming. And uh, Is there uh, any criticism that, um, it, of course in music it's the same way, which is, which is what I do, that, that competition is not healthy. Competition oh, is okay. That. Um, yeah, I, I understand that. I mean, it's that. the real world, that's and all there that's is what is we do. That's the what we do. The whole world's competition. Yeah, and life is competition. You know, I mean, you're in music. Oh, come up, you know, I mean, when they, you know, I, I've heard, had people actually suggest that, and uh, to those people I say, um, you're that it shouldn't unrealistic. Be, uh, that it shouldn't be competitive. Oh, yeah, we have that a lot. We have artists uh, around who uh, refuse to enter because of that, and we have art teachers who say that it's too competitive and all this. But or it's, it's not, not cut, good to be competitive. It's not cutthroat. It's well, it's a in learning some cases, process. it's perceived that way, and that's another thing. I believe that one of the things that this has done in the past that's really, really healthy, I think, is that the perception of a person who enters this competition and they have never met the judge, the judge goes behind closed doors, the judge leaves, they, they don't get in, and they're, they're bitter. You know, they walk around kicking the ground. Do and, they really? Oh, all the time. I and, mean, and, and, and the point is, well, is they, they're rejected <laughs> and they don't know why. There's no, you know, there hasn't been any, any dialogue. There hasn't been anything. And the people who get in, really the only thing they can do is gloat that they got in, but they don't know why they got in. So that's not good either. Right, right. So I don't see, I don't see it as a very healthy way to do business. Now I can see in a really um, large national competition where you have to have, uh, you know, uh, extremely tight uh, security or whatever in the selection process. That's a different situation. But our situation is a is a dialogue oriented teaching tool, teaching situation, mm, yeah. and it's meant to be a little bit of both. It's and we bring in the best people we can possibly bring in, and Roberta is that is at the top of well, the best like list. Well, like you say, it's, it's open for and, all ages um, because you're never beyond learning. Yeah, you know, right. you could be young that's or right. older. As an artist, you're still learning. <laughs> sure am. <laughs> you're changing your style probably all the time. <laughs> yes. We all are. We all are. But that's and good. That's growth. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. Okay. Well, that's, yeah. what, that's what this is an opportunity for, which is why, you know, I mean, artists would get, you know, just the, the whole issue about competition is so... I'm glad it's, that you it's, said it's that. It's a big one because yeah. Yeah. basically if you're an artist, first of all, you're in, in competition with something inside yourself because to you... To get better. Yeah. To grow. I mean, the thing that I probably will say in my chat, which I always say, is that, you know, people see critics as rather alien creatures. Yes. And they don't know why things should be judged. They don't know why, you know, the, and the, the why, why the competition is bad is another version of that. Why judge? Uh, we're all critics. We are all critics, and well, every it, so many decisions you make involve are, are critical decisions that involve a modicum of aesthetic preference. Sure, what you're wearing, what right. I'm wearing, what you know, how you arrange your furniture. We all have a zillion critical responses mm -hmm. every day. What and car, they're all what different. Car you buy, they're all different. Right. Which it's is just the that point. when people get in front right. of works of art, they freeze. They right. can't. They don't hear anything that's going on inside when there's plenty that's going on. You know, so for an artist is to walk in and see all this other work and see their work, his or her work in this company, they're going to start criticizing everything here. I mean, 
there's going to be so much unspoken criticism going on in these halls this afternoon. <laughs> I'm going to be talking, and people That's are going right. to be asking me questions, but they're going to, everybody is going to have their own dot, internal but dialogue. But you're used to that. No, you're, but I'm just, I'm just <clears> saying, like, <throat> the answer to competition is bad is, like, you can't get it. You, you can't get it out of yourself. No, you know? that's so right. The idea of standards. You do something. You want to do something else that's better. That right. work of art is placed in direct competition with the next work of art right. you make. But artists must understand that. We as musicians understand well, they that's do. a process. Uh, they, and they have more and more, especially <coughs> in this region, because we've done this. But um, uh, can I use you for the uh, for a, for advertising? For all the rest <laughs> of it? That was a great pitch you just gave there for the whole idea. Um, the best we've had, I think. But um, the, the idea is that Roberta has different opinions than other people, of course. Uh, so you could have a person who, and this has happened, we have people who have gotten rejected one year and they won the next year, right. or vice versa. Yeah. Well, the point, though, is that we have an enormously uh, high level of activity here. The idea of a university is to bring together the highest possible intellectual interchange possible. That's and, what it's about. And, yeah. and, and in this case, uh, production of art and the dialogue and learning how to talk about art is part of what this is about. Here's a person who is the person who talks about art. And she's going to talk about art right in front of them. So they're going to learn a lot about how to articulate about their work. And when you formulate things in words about your work, you can uh, create new directions for yourself. Mm -hmm. You that align can only your help. thinking. That can yeah. only help. You're aligning your thinking, and and you have the great uh, super aligner here. Uh, <laughs> A new aiding. title. Yes, even though it may <laughs> be painful, <laughs> they might be kicked out. You know, but you know it's better to know that you almost made it than you didn't have any. You, then you didn't get in at all. I mean, well, and I you, you know, can't take it too personally because of course any other judge on any other day could just possibly like a whole different set. Look, art. the thing that infuriates people about art and scares people about art is that it's, yeah. an, it's a structure it's intangible. Based, the, the entire structure is a matter of opinion. Right. You do not have that in sports. You have batting averages. Right. You have right. yards wins and gained. Losses. You have wins and losses. Right. Art is a very strange, fragile structure, and it's always in motion. You know, everybody's stock is going up and down, you know, dead artists, their stock goes up and down. It's all, yes. so it's just my opinion. Well, in a musical competition, it would be the same thing. How is it that what this person played sounded so different from what this person played, and who's to decide that this was better? Yeah, it's a matter of opinion, which is well, subjective. Well, she's, she's the big opinion, <laughs> and that's why we've got her here. She's the not, you know, I mean, there's a hierarchy, there's a system, uh, that, a, that Roberta went through to get to where she is. And that's, um, you know, there's an immense art complex out there and a structure system, which is it's huge. But it's competitive and even among you, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. unbelievably yeah. competitive. Yeah. You know, that's and, life. Uh, you and know? that's life, and that's what this is. This is life, yeah. and that's why we're doing it. Art trying to get them related life. to life. And the fact that you're opening it up to anybody. Right. Is, is a, no, a it's a great thing because you never know where talent is going to come from. You know, what he's That's doing right. is saying it's not within the academic structure. It's not within a certain age group. No, it it's isn't. Not, it's not within the it's sphere not even, of people who have degrees. It's not even That's within right. the amount of training they might have had. After, yeah. well, that's what she's saying. You know, it's, it, <clears throat> it, that's why it's wide open. It's wide open because, um, you know, universities tend to create and they don't do this necessarily on purpose, but they tend to create atmospheres in which the student thinks that the academic world is the only way that art is going to get produced. That's not the way it works. Right. And um, so what we're trying to do is relate the university to the world. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have about a 50-50 spread here. We have people not in the university, and we, right. have, and we have students and MFAs. and. Uh, all that kind of well, stuff. Well, then you can't be criticized for being um, prejudiced against who no. and who cannot no, no, we're get not. in this competition. No, we're not prejudiced, no. Well, then there can't be any complaints about who you were put up to. <laughs> and life right. is a competition. Only when we're done, we'll get complaints. <laughs> yeah, and right. you know what? Good oh. luck with that. <laughs> <Thanks a lot. laughs> it's all on you. We decided that. Well, thanks for, so much for your time. I appreciate Great it. To and talk and to you. good luck with the rest of your day and, and your little chat and everything. And hey, you know what? Thanks a lot. You're doing thanks. a great thing here. 
at IU East, and we appreciate it. And going out and getting all the art, you're a maniac. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope that you join us next year for the 22nd annual Whitewater Valley Art Competition. Thanks very much for joining us. I'm Chris Rogan. Bye-bye. Chris Rogan welcomes your comments, suggestions, and opinions about Focus on the Arts. You may call her at 973-8582, voice mailbox number one, or you can email your comments to crogan at indiana.edu. Chris Rogan's wardrobe supplied by The Secret Ingredient. Focus on the Arts is made possible by a financial support grant from Indiana University East and is produced by Indiana University East in cooperation with Whitewater Community Television. Thank you.